What's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Hustle. And yes, this is my new YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the all notification bell on all the YouTube channels. Talking this one right here, King Hustle, King Hustle Topic, King Hustle X1M, The Hustle Family, Black Hat Jones, King Hustle 2.0, Click Here to Laugh, and Black Hat Jones. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. All you gotta do is click the title of the video. Every video, just click the title of it, boom. At the bottom, all my social media platform links will pop up. The first one is my official IG page. I got a lot of fake IG pages out here and I don't want nobody to get scammed or keep getting scammed by them fake pages. So all you gotta do is click the title of my video. The first one says book here, that's my real IG, King Hustle X1M. And you can follow me on all my other social media platforms, Twitter, Snapchat, Clubhouse, etc etc and before we get anything started this is all educational purposes only i'm not telling anybody gonna do anything so let's get this started so today i'm gonna be talking about credit card fraud aka swiping and there's a lot of people out there that's asking me hey to make a video on credit card fraud how do you do credit card fraud how what, how much money can i make off credit card fraud can i how much money can i make a day off credit card fraud i want to do that i want to be a swiper i want to do this teach this person said this that person said that right and that's perfectly fine so i'm just gonna drop a, some gems on what's really going on in the world what are people really doing with credit card fraud and like i said this is all educational purposes only i'm not telling anybody to go do anything but we got to be real people are really committing credit card fraud out there in the world. Somebody right now is doing credit card fraud. Somebody in 10 minutes is doing credit card fraud. Somebody an hour ago was doing credit card fraud. A lot of people are doing it as we speak right now. So I'm just going to drop some gems so people can really know what's going on, can be aware, and take it from there. So what is credit card fraud? How can you commit credit card fraud? Well, it's easy. And a lot of people make it, hard, make it easy, harder than what it is. All you really got to do is have the card number, the expiration date, and the call holder, card holder's name, right? And the CVC code. Those are the only, the only information that you need if you're doing online purchases, right? If you're doing in-store purchases, you need a physical card with this information, right? So, boom. Some people do a lot of online shopping because it's easier for them to get drop addresses, virtual addresses, <laughs> Just different things for them to do, not be on camera and just, you know, it's hard to trace where somebody ordered something, who ordered it, this and that. And a bunch of some people who still swipe cards and then boss and go into stores and buy this and buy that, get the product and sell it or, you know, use it for their own goods. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys some gems on the CVC 1 code and the CVC 2 code. Drop some gems on how people are doing credit card fraud. What are some things they're buying when they you do the credit card fraud? And what can we really do about it? So, first thing we're about to talk about right now is the CVC 1 code and the CVC 2 code and what they're used for. So, let's get into it. Okay, so the CVV 1 and the CVC 1 are used to check the card when paying directly at the retail outlets. And CVV 2 and CVC 2 when paying for goods via internet including using virtual cards. Why is this needed? The secret code helps to confirm that the customer is the true owner of the card. So let's look a little bit more deep into that. So a lot of people out there that want to know credit card fraud and want to be hip to it, but it's a lot of terminologies that's used that they don't know nothing about. So let me get you guys hip to it so you could be, you know, know what's really going on. And if you ever hear somebody say it, you can know what they're talking about. I won't be blind to the fact. So what are the various names for credit card code Verification value. The, the credit card code verification value comes from various types. Various types. This information provides added security for using during the transactions. These codes are known as card verification value, CVV or CV2. Verification code, CV code or V code, card security code, SC, SS, CSC, card verification value code, CVVC, card code verification, CCV, card verification code, CVC, Car, credit card identification number, CCID, and car identification number, CID. What are the differences between CVV, CVC1, CVV1, CVC2, CVV2, CCID codes? So let's get into it. CVVs may be supplied for chip card and co co contactless cards with electronically guaranteed codes. CVC1 and CVV1 codes are are encoded on a magnetic strip of the credit cards. The code is used during 
in-person transactions. When, it, when the merchant swipes the credit card, the vial is submitted to the issuing bank for verification. Merchant requires CVC2, CVV2, or CCID. When the credit card is credit card is not present during a transaction by mail, fax, phone, or internet. These codes are not the same as a credit card number. Many people confuse these numbers, but the credit card number and verification vial have separate validations to process the credit card. Which credit card companies use CVV, C, CVV1, CVV1, CVC2, CVV2, CCID codes? The credit card companies that use codes are, are as follows. Visa, CVV2 card validation code. Discover, CVC2. MasterCard, CID. How do you find the CVC, CVV, CID verification code on your credit card? Look for either a three-digit or four-digit number located on the front or back of the credit card. This information is visible and not encoded onto any magnetic strip. American Express card holders have a four-digit code. Visa card holders have a three-digit code. Master and Discover have a three-digit security code on the cards. Not embossed number is on the back of the credit card or on the signature panel. What is the CVC, CVV, CID used for? These numbers provide security to the credit card users in this credit issuing institution. The CVC1 and the CVV1 are encoded in the magnetic strip for face-to-face -face transactions. Merchants require photo identifications to verify that the credit card belongs to the person using the credit card during the transaction. In the, in the event that someone tries to use a credit card belonging to someone else, the photo identification verification protects the credit card institution and the card holder. The second card in ver verification is the CVC1, CVC2, CID, three to four digit codes. These codes provide protection to the card holders during the phone, internet, fax, and mail order transactions. All right, so those are what those numbers are. So it's two different type of credit card frauds. It's online purchases and it's in-store purchases, right? So when you're doing online purchases, most people are using the CVC2 and they're doing like petty orders like sacks and just doing the same thing you could do in-store, but they're doing it online. Just, and it's easier because like I said, you can find, you can do socks to you switch the address. They're doing a lot of different things. And like I said, they're learning as they go. <laughs> Or they, they got somebody that's teaching them. So once you learn how to do certain things, they're, they're coming up with so many different clever ways to order things online and get... Because it's a lot of different ways to get CCs, credit card information. It's a lot of people going on the dark web. It's a lot of people who know people who work at banks or put people in a position to work at banks to be around that type of information. It's a lot of people that's even going as far as making people work at third shift at restaurants and putting skimmers over the credit card devices and, and stealing credit card information like that. It's people putting skimmers in, in the gas pumps and at, at the inside the gas pumps and the store, the store and all that. It's people putting skimmers on ATMs. And a lot of people don't know about these things so they're not checking these things and they're getting their information stolen and they don't even know what's going on so it's a lot of different ways to get information and use the information via internet and online sales and purchases another way is people are also getting the cc's this credit card information is the debit card information is the same way and they're getting the msr and they're getting the um blank us uh, cards and they're getting an uh, embosser and they're loading up the software swiping the card on them through the msr so it can read the information on the uh card write the information making these fake uh credit cards and debit cards embossing them so they look exactly like how yours will look and they're going into stores and they're still using online and they're doing the exact same thing some people are even loading gift cards and other, a lot of different different things 500 gift card you get 100 gift cards for 500. It's a lot of people doing a lot of different things with the credit card fraud. So like I said, it's a lot of people who are not, who isn't hip to, to the credit card fraud. And it's not as hard as you think. That's why so many people are doing it. It's a lot of people who need to know this thing so they can know how to be aware of what's going on, how to protect their self, how not to get their credit cards information stolen. It's a lot of people out there who are doing this just to, you know, be, just to, to look at it, read about it. But it's a lot of people out there that's actually doing this to make money. And yes, you can make a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, 
6,000 up to 10,000, 20,000, a lot of money doing this. But it's all up to how you do it, how you use the information. And like I said, I'm not telling anybody to do anything illegal. I'm not telling anybody to do nothing. This is all educational purposes only. I'm just letting the people be aware of what's going on, letting people be bright and on credit card fraud, swiping, what, what is this swiping thing that everybody talking about, what is credit card fraud, what are they really doing? Some people are really interested in knowing so they can do prevention and, and keep their self safe. Some people just want to make money. So like I said, swiping is one of the easiest scams that the fraudsters are out there doing right now. It's a lot of different ways people are obtaining your financial information, your credit card information, your fools, a lot of different information to do a lot of different things. But the same amount of work that people are doing to put in this fraud, to do fraud, why won't they just do it to put it into their real credit, their real businesses, their real entities, all that? They say, oh, I need some money, I need some money. Okay, what are you getting this money to do? To blow it, to buy things that's going to depreciate? Because like I said, I don't judge nobody. Everybody got, got their own way of making something. But... The goal is to stay doing the same thing forever. Because we all know the outcome of that. What are you going to do to elevate? What are you going to invest your money in? Because the goal of being wealthy in the world and being rich is to invest. You invest, you'll be blessed. Because once you invest that money, it's going to bring back more money. It's planted the seed, so now it's just going to start bringing you free money all the time. Instead of just starting to save it, then when you spend, when you spend that money that you save, it's not going to come back. Why not spend money that's going to make money come back Then spend money that's not going to make money come back? And that's what we need to start realizing. That's what we need to start thinking about. So, boom, that's the video on swiping credit card fraud. Make sure you are tapping in. I got more videos dropping soon. I got more gems dropping soon. I got more knowledge, more dark wave stories, more scammer stories, more hacker stories. I got so much information dropping soon and coming today and the days after. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the all notification bell. So whenever I drop them videos, y'all be tuned. Y'all know what's going on. Make sure you follow me on my real IG. Click the link of every video on my page. Click the title on every video on my page. And all my links will pop up at the bottom. Come follow me on IG. King Hustle X1. I'm the real one. I got like 26.1 thousand followers. Go run them up to 50 uh, thousand followers on there. Go run this uh, YouTube up to 50 thousand, then 100 thousand uh, subscribers. Let's keep this movement going. Let's keep the people educated. Let's keep the people entertained. Let's keep the people happy. Shout out to all my real haters. Shout out to all my real H&E uh, family members. Shout out to all my real H&E family fans. Because at the end of the day, y'all all watching. Y'all all tuned in. That's all that matters. All positive vibes. Make sure y'all tapping in and get y'all lessons because it ain't nothing free. I don't, ain't no hitting me in my DM saying, hey, can we talk about this? Can we talk about that? No. Once you contact me in my DM, be ready to get a lesson. Be ready to handle business. If you're not coming to handle business, spend some money and invest in yourself, don't even bother hitting me because this is business. This is my job. This is how I eat. This is how I feed my family. Just like if it was you, oh, if I had money, I would be giving it free. No, you wouldn't. Don't lie to yourself. This is real life, kid. So make sure you already handle business when you come to my inbox. I'm showing people how to make thousands of dollars a day off of iPhone, free money, passive income, credit, personal business, how to clean it, how to build it. I'm doing all that. I'm showing you how to get credit cards, loans, CPN. Shout out to all my truck drivers out there that be tapping in. Shout out to everybody. I just had a lesson, in-person lesson with over the weekend. And let's keep this ball going. Let's keep these videos dropping, more sauce, more gems. Coming soon. Stay tapped in. It's your boy, King Hustle. I'm going to show you how to get rich with me. Peace.